Here comes mom. Hi. What are you filming? The contemporary thon vlog. Hello, and welcome to the mini contemporary thon vlog. It's currently May 22nd, the first day of the contemporary thon. It goes until May 25th. It's run by Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reeves, Natasha from My Readings Odd, and Julie from Pages and Pen. I always say I'm going to participate in readathons and then I never end up actually participating. I just say I'm going to, but this vlog is my way of holding myself accountable and actually, you know, participating. Don't mind my like super gross wet hair right now. Since we're in quarantine and I can't dye my hair anymore, I figured I would try to get it more healthy and like back to not being dead basically and I've decided that I'm gonna stop blow drying it and just let it dry naturally in hopes that you know it'll repair itself a little bit but that's why we're looking like this my hair is naturally like wavy but when I blow dry it it's like super straight so you guys will finally see like my real hair texture I guess if anybody actually cares nobody does but thought I'd mention that but I figured I'd share my like TBR with you guys since you know it is a reading vlog I did post a video of my contemporary thon TBR so I mean like if you've watched that you know what it is but you know whatever I figured I'd share it on this too so the first book that is on my TBR is for the challenge of like the pink or orange or peach color on the cover so I chose tweet cute I've actually already started this one I'm like 80 pages in. I'm actually really liking it. It's pretty cute. It's about a girl named Pepper and a guy named Jack. Their family owns like competing businesses and they're fighting over like a grilled cheese recipe and it's like an enemies to lovers kind of situation and I'm loving it because like enemies to lovers is like my favorite romance trope ever. I don't really read a lot of contemporary books honestly. I read more like thriller books. So this is like the perfect excuse for me to actually pick up some of my contemporary books. Anyways, the next book that is on my TBR is for the under 250 pages. It's Finding Cinderella by Colleen Hoover. I usually really like Colleen Hoover books. I don't think I've ever rated one lower than 3.5. So this one has 130 pages, so this one will definitely be read at some point. And then the last challenge is to read a book that you think you'll enjoy, so I chose Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Cornwall. This is about a girl who has agoraphobia, and then she orders groceries to be delivered to her door and then she ends up talking to the delivery guy through the door or something and she like falls for him and she doesn't think that they should be together she wants him to have somebody who like can go out into the world and blah 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 but he like wants her or something i don't know contemporary you know love story so but yeah so those are my reading plans for the three days four days i can't do math i've dyscalculia but the readathon like i said i'm 80 pages into this one and i'm going to be reading that now it's 140 Four on the first day so we're gonna see how far we can read of that one I do have to go to Walmart with my mom to get some groceries since we haven't had groceries in like two or three weeks because of this pandemic thing so it'll be an interesting time my mom gets very anxious so we'll see how that goes but I'll probably see you guys in the car because y'all love some quality car content. Also, none of you guys care about this, but I'm like super excited about it. I put on these shorts this morning and if you guys don't know, which I'm sure you have since you watched my videos, but I gained like a shit ton of weight in 2018 and I'm kind of just like currently losing it all right now. But I put on my shorts and they are freaking huge on me now and it's like kind of really exciting for me because I was like super unhappy with my body and blah 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 you know girl stuff but yeah I just like wanted to share like the progress I haven't really been like doing anything to lose weight I think it's just because me and my boyfriend broke up and I don't go out to eat all the time now so but like look how big these are they're huge on me and I am so excited about it none of you cared and none of you asked but we're feeling good. Also, look how like ratchet my nails are because of this quarantine thing. I can't go get them done, so they all snapped off. I have one that's still hanging on for dear life, but hopefully they'll come off soon and then I don't have to deal with these ugly things. Anyways, I'm gonna go to Walmart now. Bye! We're going to Walmart and the rules in Canada now is that you have to wear a face mask to go places. We don't have access to face masks, so my mom decided that she was going to make our own face mask. So, 
she took fabric that we had upstairs and she made herself one in this like star patterny thing. That material is actually from when you were a toddler and I made you a bucket hat. I don't know why I just still don't have this bucket hat. I would love you it. Do, well, it won't fit you, but you do have it. It's in a bin upstairs, I think. I want a bucket hat. Anyways, and then she also made me a stitch one from when she made me pillowcases. She also made a Minions one, but I don't have it in the car, obviously, because there's only two of us, so we don't need more than two masks. But look at her being so creative and a little DIY queen. Love that for us. DIY <laughs> queen. Like yeah, me, that me. is you. So we're going to go to Walmart so that we can get groceries because our fridge is literally empty. We have Sunny D and condiments. Well, I um, hate the masks, though. No, they're horrible. They, they like, they're hot. They're hot, and when you breathe, it like goes up into your eyeball. I just am not a fan, but you know, safety first. So that's what we're doing. But we're gonna go along with it because that's what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. But we're gonna look cute while we do it. So it's yeah. Fun. I'm hoping that people go, oh, that's really cute. And then they come to closer you. to look. To you. <laughs> yeah, they go. Oh, let me see that. And I go get back. <laughs> Six feet away. Hello, I hate it. I hate it <laughs> so it. much. Uh, they fashionable though. No, I hate life. So we Couldn't lasted about 10 minutes and then uh, <laughs> ripped them off. We are bad patrons of Canada. So it's now like 8 o'clock on the first day of Contemporary Thon and I have read 146 pages of Tweet Cute. I'm still really liking it. It's probably gonna be like a 4 or 4.5 read for me. It's like really cute and I'm just like loving the whole like enemies to friends to lovers thing that's going on right now. I thought it was only enemies to lovers. I'm pretty sure it would be considered like enemies to friends to enemies to friends to lovers so far so i'm like here for it i'm loving it but i've been like listening to it on audiobook and playing animal crossing which has literally taken over my life since i've gotten my switch and i can't stop playing it's been like a week and i just got like the terraforming thing so i'm like starting to make my eyelid look cute i mean it's not looking that cute because i have no idea what i'm doing and i just like am moving shit around which costs a lot of money like it's like fifty thousand bells every single time you want to move a house and i was a dumb bitch and didn't plan out my island because i didn't know that this was a thing that was gonna happen but you know we live and we learn as we go along um it's very frustrating but i put my house up on a hill because i'm a bougie bitch like that and then i have like all my little villagers houses is this the one to move yeah all my villagers houses right there and they're all going down so there's four this bitch velma i want to kick her out of my house island because i hate her but then another villager house that i'm moving there but it takes like a whole day to move people's houses which is really frustrating because like i don't got time for that shit but yeah that's what i've been doing with my life is playing animal crossing and listening to tweet cute yeah i live a very exciting life but here we are i'm gonna go listen some more play some more animal crossing because i got nothing else to do with my life because we're still in quarantine 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 Quarantine. What if the brakes on the elevator <laughs> We're watching The Purge and Mom can't handle it. <laughs> A family that watches Purge together stays together. I think it's funny how you guys are all laughing at it. I'm just like, oh no. Oh no. That's <laughs> Willie Baldwin. He will kill your ass. Welcome to day two of the mini contemporary thon i finished a book i know it's very surprising actually because i really didn't think i was going to because like i said in the previous clip animal crossing has taken over my life but i finished tweet cute by emma lord i'm giving it a four out of five stars i actually really liked it way more than i thought i was going to i am kind of mad at myself for not realizing the ship name in this book was pepper jack like it's so obvious their names are literally pepper and jack it's about grilled cheese pepper jack cheese like i feel so dumb i really like the enemies to friends to lovers in this i think that it was like a super adorable little book so we're done that and i am changing my tbr are we really surprised because i do this every single time i do a readathon i am switching under rose tainted skies for broken beautiful hearts by cami garcia for the challenge of read a book that you think you will enjoy because like i said animal crossing has taken over my life so i need 
an audiobook. This is an audiobook. Under Rose Tainted Skies is not an audiobook that I can get from my library, so this is available now, so we're going with it. And I also think that I actually am really going to like this. It's about a girl who is like a star athlete. She ends up getting an injury which causes her not to be able to compete as a varsity athlete anymore, which I would just like to say happened to me, so I feel like I'm really gonna relate with this book since I went through the same thing and it's like kind of like a loss of identity so I'm interested to see how it's portrayed in this it's also like a romance novel as well but yeah that's my plan I'm going to listen to that while I play Animal Crossing probably or I might pick up a little bit of Finding Cinderella I haven't really decided which one I'm feeling yet I'm currently 116 so I've been up for a while that's when I finished Tweet Cute so I think that I'm going to actually start Finding Cinderella by Colleen Hoover just because I don't want to play Animal Crossing right now which is shocking because it's like all I've been doing lately so I'm going to read this see how far I can get I'll read for like an hour and a bit and then I guess I'll update you guys on what I think because I haven't even started it yet so can't really give any thoughts but that's the plan I'm 15 pages into Finding Cinderella and it is so stupid these two teenagers in high school just had sex in a closet but they literally have no idea who either one of them is and they literally just got like butt ass naked in the middle of school in this supply closet which makes no sense because there is not enough room to lie down and have sex in a supply closet unless it's like a fucking garage supply closet so that's some bullshit and also creepy and weird to have you know full on butt ass naked sex in a school so i'm 26 pages into finding cinderella and i'm already annoyed with it <laughs> this, this is apparently hopeless 2.5 so i didn't read number two like the sequel to hopeless but i remember when i read hopeless i think in like 2015 2016 i did really like it so i think i gave it like a four out of five stars but i never read the sequel this is the book after the sequel so it follows Daniel, who is Holden's, who's the main character of Hopeless's best friend. That's the connection. But yeah, I'm on chapter two and I'm just like bleh, over it. So I switched to Broken Beautiful Hearts by Cami Garcia. I'm 90 pages into it and this one's a lot better than Finding Cinderella. Basically her boyfriend was taking steroids and she was like, yo, drugs or me? And he was like, I just gotta take the drugs like a little bit longer and then I'll quit. And she was like, no, drugs are me. And like, bitch, I relate because that's how my last relationship ended. So we are like seeing ourselves in this book because bad relationship ends because of drugs. And then, you know, varsity athlete, no longer varsity athlete because they injure themselves. Like this is just me in a book. So hopefully she finds happiness and love because we're still waiting on that one it's not happening but i'm sick of reading so i'm gonna go do i don't know what but we'll see tis the start of day three okay not really the start since it's 2 53 in the afternoon but i figured I'd probably update you guys on what i read last night i got to page 350 of broken beautiful hearts and i am liking it i think but the main character is really annoying but also I relate to her so much. So I'm having this like internal crisis being like, oh my God, am I also just super annoying and didn't realize it? Like I knew I was annoying and I wouldn't do a lot of the things that she does, but I also like relate so much to what she does. Does that make any sense whatsoever? Probably not. And then Finding Cinderella. I got to page 55 of this book and I'm hating it so much. There's one point in the book where the girl named Six is talking about how she's had sex with six people. No, that is not why she's called Six. That's immediately where my mind went to and I was like, that's really stupid if that's why she's called Six. But apparently her name is Seven and she was trying to rebel against her parents so she started calling herself Six and then it stuck. I don't know. But anyway, she's talking about how she slept with six people and only slept sleep with that many people and I'm sitting over here like, oh dear you know what i mean and it's just like not a very positive sex book it's very slut shaming and i'm just like not here for it it's like really annoying but i am going to freaking finish this book because it's only 130 pages and i'm already 55 pages in so we might as well finish it but i'm kind of avoiding it because i just am over it so you know that's how my life is going i'm probably gonna listen to more of this and play animal crossing
you all knew it was coming. I'm probably gonna read this one just to get it over with. That's the plan, I think. So I will come back when I'm done it. When will that be? I don't know, because I'll probably scroll through Twitter or something instead. But this is me saying I'm gonna read it. Hopefully it happens. We'll see on the next clip. We are dying my father's beard. Teal. Are you excited? I'm on 17 volumes, that's why I'm reading it without any fight. <laughs> I'm putting this on YouTube, so <laughs> you want to reevaluate that? I would never agree to this if I wasn't like <laughs> stoned, drugged. He doesn't do drugs. Everyone's gonna think you're a druggie. <laughs> that beautiful white beard. So you're entertained now? Yes. Yeah. Entertainment value is there. And now I like I, I didn't go really deep into this here, but if you want it's I not will. it's not gonna be blue at all when you No, I think it's just gonna wash. I right would out. like to say it makes your eyes pop very nicely. You probably could have done this with a filter though. Yeah, but now it's permanent and I feel better. <sighs> oh yeah, by the way it's permanent. It's day four, the final day of the mini contemporary thon. I finished another book, so we are done two out of the three so far. And the goal today is to finish the last book since it is the shortest, but I finished Broken Beautiful Hearts by Cami Garcia. I'm giving it a four out of five stars. I really liked the main character, Peyton, like I talked about her in yesterday's clip, I think. She was super relatable to me, just a lot of the things that she went through, I've been through. The only thing like I couldn't really relate to was the dead dad because my dad is very much alive as you saw with the beard dying but he's pretty great great dad so couldn't relate to that part i also really liked owen the love interest he was super super cool i really like how he didn't like pressure her to do anything that she didn't want to do and he was super supportive in like everything that she did also really liked her twin cousins they were like probably my favorite part of the book biggest complaint i have is like the girl on girl hate in this there was so much and it was like that typical mean bitchy cheerleader trope that was going on so i was not a fan of that but actually like a pretty good book that dealt with like more difficult topic but still made it like fun if that makes any sense but yeah so that's done so we're done two of the three challenges and then we're still reading finding cinderella oh i bent it i sleep with my books so when they're soft covers sometimes they get a little bent not that i care about this one because i'm not liking it but i am now 88 pages still not a fan it's probably gonna be a two star for me but the goal is to finish it 88 out of 130 pages we can do it i believe in myself if i can buckle down and actually read it because i just have no desire to do it okay if you don't want spoilers for finding cinderella stop watching this now but i need to talk about this because it's so fucking stupid so starting now spoilers this girl six and this dude daniel had sex in a maintenance closet. They never figured out who each other was because it was like the big thing where it was gonna be secret and they weren't gonna tell each other and then she moved to Italy and now she's back, okay? So she's closet girl from the beginning. Turns out she got pregnant with Daniel's baby in the supply closet. And then Daniel right now is pissed off because she never told him that she had a baby and that like it's his kid, but also she didn't know who he was. So how was he supposed to like, tell him she was like what did you want me to do post flyers up on the school walls to ask who knocked me up in the maintenance closet and he's like yes that's what you should have done and i would just like to say the audacity that this man has is ridiculous and i don't like him even more now so i'm on page 103 now out of 130 so fucking terrible book i finished it giving it a 1.5 because i didn't hate it enough to be a one because that is reserved solely for books that i like despise but i will say it's not that far off of being despised like it was not a good book it pissed me off more than i enjoyed it so 1.5 but i've officially completed all of the challenges for the mini contemporary thon which means i'm closing off this vlog so i can go edit it so i can have it up for wednesday video so thank you for joining me for the mini contemporary thon we read three out of three books completed three out of three challenges two of them were really good reads i got two four star reads and one 1.5 so i mean it evens out i guess but i'll see you all in my next video goodbye yeah.